And yes, you can. Hi friends, I'm Les Mood, your host of the Energy Independence Show, where we cover product reviews, interviews, and hot news. According to Z Prime Research, $3 trillion is proposed for COVID recovery in renewables. You report out from the International Energy Agency and International Monetary Fund proposes a $3 trillion US dollar clean energy plan from 2001 or 21 to 2023 to drive the global economic recovery. recovery. Few highlights are that the trillion dollars will be invested uh, per year. 30% is coming from public investment per year, 300 billion. 27 million jobs are created globally from the plan, 35% in the building sector. 150 billion per year for EVs and efficient vehicles. $30 billion per year on charging infrastructure. $110 billion per year on grid infrastructure and smart grids. $180 billion per year on wind and solar development. And $35 billion per year on nuclear and hydro. According to InsideEVs.com, insignificant power degradation on Tesla cars is uh, battery capacity is, is above 85% on average after 150,000 to 200,000 miles. Tesla says that its battery packs were designed to outlast the cars. The average usage of private passenger cars in the U.S. is 17 years and roughly 200,000 miles. The mileage in Europe is lower, about 130,000 miles. So we have the first indication that the battery should last longer than that. Should be good for the aftermarket EV conversion market and your do-it-yourselfers. According to youractive.com, world's largest EV, a European electric dump truck. Swiss firm e-mining operates with what have been dubbed the largest electric vehicles in the world. A 45 ton dump truck used to haul up to 65 tons or from the top of a limestone quarry downhill to the site's processing facilities. The bright green machine is innovative and perfectly suited to its task to such an extent that it only needs overnight charging once every three days. It achieves this seemingly impossible feat by using regenerative braking during its downhill trip and then using the resulting power to get back up to the summit. Trap truck manufacturer Kun Schweitz estimates that it could save 11,000 to 22,000 gallons of diesel every year. According to Business Insider, a tiny egg-shaped home produces power and water. Eco Capsule creates, e uh, creates wind, battery, and solar-powered uh, energy. The tiny homes that can uh, be placed on a trailer base for $89,632, quite the price tag for a tiny home. The tiny home can accommodate up to two people with its kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and dining room. The homes are built in Slovakia, but can be shipped worldwide. Eco Capsule was designed to be environmentally friendly and won't leave a carbon footprint while in use, according to its makers. Only $90,000, high price tag for early innovation. Still nice to see. According to National Geographic, Southern Africa would use wind and solar for great economic growth. Southern Africa is rich in potential power generation capacity, especially in the crucial areas of renewables, while countries like Mozambique, Botswana, and South Africa has significant amounts of coal and gas, the emissions generated in a fossil fuel-based future will not only contribute to climate change and rising temperatures, but also be responsible for as many as 50,000 premature deaths a year. As Southern Africa develops its energy infrastructure over the coming years, an extraordinary opportunity exists to leapfrog dependence on fossil fuels straight to renewables. The continent has a huge advantage in its abundant natural resources, wind in South Africa, water in Zimbabwe, and plenty of sun everywhere. This enormous potential has also become easier to harness as renewable technologies become more efficient and associated costs decrease, especially for the most ubiquitous sources of wind and solar. The country that comprises Southern Africa, our record that comprise Southern Africa are recognizing the important contribute contribution renewables can make in solving their energy challenges. Meyer Berger to start exclusive heterojunction solar module manufacturing in the first half of 2021. Meyer Berger Technology has officially set in motion plans to become a dedicated manufacturer of heterojunction solar modules in Europe and the United States. 
and exclusively use its technology in-house, foregoing its PV equipment supply, supplier and JV business models. The company said it was planning to raise CHF, which is Swiss francs, $165 million, $173 million to start HJT cell and module assembly in the first half of 2021, with an initial annual production capacity of six or 400 megawatts, Meyer Berger will be targeting the European and US residential markets with the high efficiency modules, which it said has already secured letters of intent from potential customers operating in these two areas. According to New York Times Post, power bills spiked during coronavirus. Unprecedented usage over the months of April, March, May, were a result of block their lockdown orders to the spread of COVID-19. White collar workers were encouraged to work from home if possible, while students were told to stay home and social outings were switched for Zoom catch-ups. Natural Solar CEO and founder Chris Williams said people would increasingly turn to solar energy to combat the rising prices. Despite electricity consumption doubling, we expect households with solar and battery to be highly insulated to be highly insulated from increased consumption prices. He said, households will supply, simply use power produced by their solar panels with excess power to be stored within their home battery for usage during the evening. His company anticipates the average quarterly bill will jump from $406.75 to at least $800 during the COVID-19 period. Here in Central California at Energy Independence Group, we are seeing similar trends. According to clean technia, macro grids, or micro grids, which is the key to the renewable energy revolution. Distributed energy systems have garnered the majority of the hype the past few years, but it's clear a hybrid approach will be needed to advance the clean energy transition. Some argue we need a vast array of high voltage transmission lines to carry electricity from solar farms on a sunny afternoon in Arizona to meet the needs of New Yorkers coming home after dark following a long day at the office. Others maintain local microgrids are better because they have the rather frightening expense of building more transcontinental transmission lines. At the Energy Independence Group, we believe you should be the power company. When you're ready to declare energy independence, you can visit eigsolar.com for more information. When you're ready for a free solar estimate, you can visit solarestimate.com. That's it for hot news today. The revolution is here. Thank you for joining us. Feel free to like, comment, share, follow. See you soon.